Hi, I'm Nikki, founder of Barcore. Today I'm going to show you a quick barcore workout you can do in your living room or anywhere. Today we're just going to use our body weight for resistance. You don't need any props, just a little bit of space in your living room or wherever you might be. And what the key things to remember are is to work as small as you can. I'll say tiny little movements like up an inch, down an inch, and that is to keep you in an isometric contraction where all the blood flow will go to your muscles to create that little movement, but you also feel a burn and a shake. And if you're feeling that, it's exactly what you should be doing and feeling. So try and stay in it. And if something doesn't feel right, come out of it, reset and jump, jump back in. So let's get started. Hands on your hips, feet, heels together, toes two inches apart, tuck your tailbone under, begin to lift one leg up at a time. We're slowly warming up the body. We're gonna get deep into our arms, abdominals, back body. Begin to stretch the arms up towards the ceiling and then pull the arms down. Down you have five, go four, three, two. Round the spine forward, press the arms forward, stretching through the back. You have five, go four, three, two, and one. Feet back in that small V position. Slide one leg behind you, and then behind the opposite shoulder. Tuck the tailbone under, reach the arms out long. Go drop and hold, drop and hold, drop and hold. Now a little bit quicker, go drop, drop. Now what you wanna do is make sure the right knee, or the knee, the front knee is over the bottom foot, and then add a stretch through the arm. So we're connecting through the whole body. What's happening through the legs is an isometric contraction, and you're gonna feel a deep burning shake. That's what you wanna go for. So if you're not feeling quite yet, get a little bit lower. Good. And then hold the bottom, find a little tuck, release. So you're just tucking the tailbone, finding work through the seat. Go tuck, release, tuck, release. Four more, go four, go three, Go two, hold the tuck on one. The front leg arm goes down, the back leg arm goes up, a little bend press. Now add a drop again. Bend press and hold. Working through the whole lower body, you'll feel the front leg, the back leg, feeling that deep burn. You have four, go three, go two. Hold low on one, reach the top arm up, hinge your torso forward. Look about three to four feet in front of your front foot. Slide the back foot in, then slide the back foot back. Now this is where you'll feel work through the front hip, through the front thigh, whittling down and shaving down the outside of the leg. You have three, you have two. Now a little bit quicker, add the arms, go pull and pull and pull. Five more, go one, two, getting your heart rate up here. That's three, four and five. Now I'm just gonna turn on the diagonal so you can see hands to your waist and then lift the back leg behind you, working into the side of the seat, lift and hold. Go lift and hold, make sure the standing leg is bent. Lift and hold, lift and hold. You can bring your hands to prayer, pressing the palms together, working through the arms once again. Lift and hold, lift and hold. Now a little bit quicker, you go up, up, up. You have five, go four, three, two. Extend the leg along and pull it in for two. Go out and out, in, in, out, out. In, in. On the last one, hold the leg long. Reach the arms long in front of you. Little lifts, go 10, up nine. Make it as small and minute as you can. That's five, four. Just three more to the transition, holding there. Dive your hands down towards the floor. Lift the extended leg up towards the ceiling. Look at your standing leg, and then take your gaze towards the lifted toes. Go lift and hold. Lift and hold. Now you're pressing through the standing leg. This is a standing split, a bar core signature move. Go lift and hold, lift and hold, and then press into your fingertips to see if you can get the lifted leg even higher. Now hold the top little bend, press to the finish. Go one, press two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On 10, lower the back, the upper leg down, place your hands down, drag your chest forward and lower your knees to the floor. 10 press ups, you go drop, press, lift. Inhale, lower, lift. Now use your breath to carry you up through the movement. Good, it's more about the abdominals than the arms. Go drop, lift, just three more, three. Go for two, hold low on one. Little pulses down, one, drop, two, three. This is where the deep burn happens. This is where the trans transformation happens. You have five, go four, three, two, on one. Send the hips back. Child's pose, take a deep inhale, enjoy the release, and then round your spine all the way up. 
we have another side to do. Coming on to the second side, back into a small V position with your feet, heels together, toes a few inches apart. This time, draw the opposite leg behind you and then behind the opposite shoulder. Tuck the tailbone under, lower your waist down, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, go drop and hold. Drop and hold. This time we're stretching the arms out to the side, palms go back, and little bend press through the arms. Go drop and hold. Drop and hold. Now dig a little bit deeper. See if you can find a deeper burn on this side. You want to be quivering and shaking straight away. Now a little bit quicker, drop, 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 drop. Good, smile, dig deeper, go a little bit lower. You have five, four, three, two, on one. Front arm goes down, back arm goes up. Bend, press, and hold. Bend, press, and hold with the arms. Bend, press, and hold. So you're working on your postural muscles, elongating the waistline, digging in towards the obliques. Now add a little pulse, a little bit quicker. One, two, good, just to 10. Go a little bit lower, go five, four, three, two. Reach both arms up. Pitch your torso forward. I'm just gonna turn out a diagonal so you can see me. And then you're gonna drag the back leg back, forward, and then draw it back. Go inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward. Now add the arms, go pull. Here's your little cardio burst. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Float the back leg up off the floor. Feel the seat engaged. Now lift and hold. Lift and hold. You can send the arms long or bring the hands to prayer. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. If you brought your hands to prayer, press the heels of the hands together. Connect through the shoulders, the biceps, good, the pectorals. Now a little bit quicker. Lift, lift, lift. Now hold the back leg up as high as you can. Keep the hips square. Extend the leg long. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it back in. Last two. Find your balance. Last one, hold the leg long, reach the arms long, find your balance, pull the waistline in, little lift. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, go six, five, four. And the next move, you're gonna lower all the way down into a standing split and reach the leg long, stretch the leg as long as you can. Look at the extended toes, lift and hold. Go lift and hold, up freeze, hold. A little bit quicker, go lift 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 you have 10 9 8 7 6 5 holding on the last one here hold for five four three two draw the knees down towards the floor about two fists width apart bring your hands to your hips so make sure your knees are about two fists width apart tuck the tailbone under stack the arms this is our genie arms position tuck the tailbone under float the hips off the heels just a couple of inches from here lift and lower so it's a tiny lift you're feeling the seat engage the thighs elongate building strength and length through the front of the leg now a little bit quicker lift lift now the more you lean your torso back the deeper you will feel it the more you will shake you have 10 9 maybe add the arms up towards the ceiling throw the arms forward you've got five go four go three go two and one lower all the way down sweep the legs around plant them on the floor Glue your inner thighs together. Feel the inner thighs engage. Fingertips point towards your feet. Lift all the way up. Open the chest. Shift your weight back. Tuck the tailbone under. Working the back of the arms. Bend the elbows back. Exhale, press all the way up. So it might look like my hips are just lowering down towards the floor, but it's actually my elbows bending and creating more strength through the back of the arm. Now drop, drop, press, lift. A little bit quicker. So double drop and lift. Double drop, press lift. Good, so you're creating that beautiful shape on the back of the arms. Especially for women, it's harder to shape the back of the arms. So it's imperative to work the back body and the back of the arms. You have three, press. Go two, press. Last one, little hover down, little drop, go drop. Press, press. Maybe add a wrap of the elbows, final 10. I know it burns, stay with it. You've got this. Go five, four, three, two and one, lower the hips down, grab onto the backs of the thighs, tuck the tailbone under. Good, from here you might wanna drop the, draw the toes out to the side, keep the heels lifted, glue the inner thighs together. Round the spine back, take a deep inhale, shake your head no, exhale, release, go tuck and hold. Tuck, freeze, hold, tuck and hold. So you're just working the lower abdominals here by adding a tuck of the tailbone. It's very deep, but very effective. The deeper you work your abdominal muscles, the flatter they will look, and the taller you will stand. 
tuck and hold, go three more, go two more. Last one, hold here, reach your arms out towards the side. One arm goes up towards the ceiling, exhale, lower. Other arm goes reach and reach, go drop and drop, lift and lift, drop and drop. Two more, up and drop, last set and drop. One more on the other side, inhale, exhale, slowly reach back, curl back, find the deep engagement, maybe bring the hands together, lift them up at a diagonal, little lifts to the finish. One, lift, two, three, four, five, six, just a few more, last three, two, and one. Grab onto the backs of your thighs, draw the heels together, and then roll back. Lift the legs up to 90 degrees, curl up one more inch, and then dial the knees out towards the side. So a diamond shape with your legs. Reach one hand into the center, other hand into the center, go lift and hold, lift and hold. Now to create more challenge, press your hands together. Now a little bit quicker, one, two, three, we're almost there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on 10. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Extend the legs long onto the floor. Glue your arms down by your side. From here coming into our dish rock, curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Look at your toes. Point the toes long, drop the chin towards your chest, and then glue the legs together as you float them off the floor. You should be shaking. It's just 10 seconds. That's it. That's all you have to do. One, two, three, almost there, four, five, you got it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release all the way down. Reach your arms long, take a deep inhale, let your rib cage expand, exhale, release. Draw the knees in towards your chest and rock yourself up to a seated position. Crossing your legs, bring the arms up, bow forward, drop the chin towards your chest, feel the release through the hips. We work them deep through the curtsy. Inhale, exhale. One arm comes over to the side and up and over towards the other side. Inhale, exhale, switch the front leg. Inhale, reach, exhale, bow. Take a deep breath, be proud of your efforts. One arm comes over to the side, inhale, and exhale up and over. Inhale, reach. Expand the chest and then contract. One more inhale. Inhale and exhale. Well done for completing your barcore mini workout. Check us out at barcore.com online workouts.